Hello guys, in this video we'll be exploring the autosomal DNA, predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of a medieval Ottoman Turk from Turkey. Uh, it's a woman and let's get into her phenotype. This is what she is predicted to look like. Uh, as you can see, I depicted her with very East Asian traits because she's got two derived variants in EDAR. Uh, she's got dark brown color eyes, snub shaped nose and black hair. She was most likely heterozygous for blue eye haplotype 1, does not have blue eye haplotype 2 or blue eye haplotype 4. Uh, with my hair ID 2023, she's actually predicted to have 95% likelihood of straight hair and 3% likelihood of wavy hair, so definitely had very straight hair. Um, she has actually got a derived variant in this variation of MC1R, which basically increases uh, the odds of red hair and melanoma. It's a super rare, uh, it's a super rare variant to have, and most people don't have it. Uh, she doesn't have any atypical or unusual genotypes in DRD2 aside from uh, TAC1, which is we're gonna get into that right now. She's actually got A1A1 genotype in TAC1. Now uh, the A1 variant here increases. The odds of ADHD, alcohol dependence, Parkinson's, and it actually decreases the amount of D2 dopamine receptors you have. Most humans have A2A2, but she's not like most humans because she's got A1A1. And she's also, also uh, she's a warrior in Compt. Uh, another very atypical thing to see uh, is that she's got MET-MET genotype in Compt, which means advantage in memory and attention tasks, more dopamine uh, in the brain. This is a very rare genotype to have for anybody who's not a European. Europeans are the ones with the warrior alleles, right? Everybody else is warrior. Uh, she does not have the sociopath gene. Uh, as you can see, uh, higher levels of empathy, increased OXTR expression. And she does have two derived variants in EDR, so definitely straighter, thicker hair, increased odds of sho shovel-shaped incisors, and other... Uh, other East Asian facial traits. As you can see in the picture, I depicted her with East Asian facial features. Does not have the European lactose persistence mutation. Uh, no surprises here because she's not a European, so why would she have the European lactose persistence mutation? And she's also got this genotype which increases her risk of autism. Now moving on to polygenic traits, she's got a high risk score for Crohn's disease, she's got a very high risk score for Parkinson's disease, uh, she's got a high risk score for coronary heart disease, uh, she's got a very high risk score for brain aneurysm, uh, she's got a very high risk score for bipolar disorder, uh, she also has an average risk score for type 2 diabetes, uh, she's got an average risk score for schizophrenia, uh, and she's got a below average risk score for type 1 diabetes and she's got an average risk score for asthma. Moving on to GED match, this is what she scores with Eurogenes K13. Now Eurogenes calculators are actually not so good for Turkic individuals, especially Turkic individuals that resemble people in Central Asia. Uh, they just don't have enough references in their oracles. And this is what I'm talking about. She's closest to Afghan Turkmen, but look at the distance. The distance is super high. If they had a Karakalpak reference, I promise you, she would be closest to Karakalpaks here. Uh, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Afghan Turkmen plus Kyrgyz or Afghan Turkmen plus Siberian. So what we can draw from this, the conclusion we can make from this, is that she's actually more uh, East Asian, more Siberian than Afghan Turkmen. Uh, this is what she scores with MDLP K16. She's actually scoring 26% Siberian and 17% Southeast Asian together. Uh, that's more than 40% East Asian admixture. A lot of East Asian admixture, much more than what's typical for even Turkmen. She's closest to Karakalpaks here, actually. And Karakalpaks are much more East Asian than Turkmen. Uh, now let's get ready for the Oracle. The Oracle, the two-way Oracle is showing her as a mixture of Kazakh plus Lesgin or Kazakh plus Kabardin. Basically a mixture of Kazakh plus some kind of North Caucasian or also Karakalpak plus Chechen, so a mixture of Kazakh or Karakalpan, Karakalpak plus Chechen or some kind of North Caucasian, and this is precisely what we see here uh, with the official G25 for the sample, also a mixture of Kazakh plus Georgian, or Hakas plus Turkmen plus Abazin, a mixture of some kind of Turkic plus some kind of North Caucasian. This is what she scores with MDLP World. She's scoring quite a lot of Caucasus and Middle East and even uh, South and West European and North and East European. But the biggest components here are East Asian and North Asian. And because of that, uh, she's closest to Karakalpaks, followed by Kazakhs, uh, basically Central Asian people, not Turkish people in Anatolia. Uh, which she is, she's a Turkish person from Anatolia, right? But that's, but she's closest to Karakalpaks, and she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Karakalpak plus Bashkir, or Kar Karakalpak plus Mari. Uh, she's actually also getting modeled as a mixture of Kazakh plus Iranian here, if you paid attention to the Oracle. Uh, and this is her results with the MDLP K23B, also scoring a lot of South Central Asians, and a lot, a lot of, a lot of Caucasus components as well, but the biggest components here are Tungus Altaic and East Asian, and because of that, she's also closest to the Karakalpaks here, followed by Turkmen. 
Uh, she's not similar to Turkish people whatsoever, even though she is a Turkish person from Anatolia. Uh, she's getting modeled here as a mixture of Kazakh plus Chechen, line number 15, or Karakalpak plus various uh, finno ugric people in Russia. This is what she scores with Pan DNA LK12. The biggest components here are East Asian and Siberian. If you add them together, that's going to be around 40%. Uh, East Eurasian ancestry in total. With the oracle, she is closest to Turkmen, uh, and out of Turkic people, Turkmen and Uzbek. Turkmen comment number one, Uzbek comment number two. She is getting modeled as a mixture of Nagai plus Altai, but Nagai here with this oracle, Nagai does not represent actual Nagais. It represents some kind of Dagestan people. It's not actual Nagai, so she, the, she's more uh, Caucasoid than what you might. The impression you might get from looking at the oracle, basically. Uh, this is what she scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. 44.3% uh, East Asian, a lot of East Asian admixture. Uh, typical for Turks is around 10%, so she's four, per four times more East Asian than what's typical for modern Anatolian Turks. And she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Uyghur plus Sardinian, or Kyrgyz plus Ashkenazi Jewish, or Eskimo plus Ashkenazi Jewish. So if you, if you take Kyrgyz, if you say that Kyrgyz are the original Turks, then she's... 70% Kyrgyz or 70% original Turk plus 31% Mediterranean. That's how you can interpret this result. And uh, this is what she scores with Gidrosia K3. Uh, she's scoring around as much East Eurasian as West Eurasian. So she's a pretty balanced blend between uh, East Asian and Europeoid or Caucasoid uh, groups. Thanks for watching my video. You can download her raw data file, her raw genome in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Goodbye.